Hello, and welcome back to Card City Nights 2. Last episode, we made a new friend in the cold room, and she got rid of the mind parasite. Hooray! I, I wasn't even aware that I was still controlled by it. I mean, I, I was, but it hasn't really interfered. Or has it? Hasn't been noticeable. And now, let's just talk to her again. And just go through all the lists. Or the list of conversations. Fashion convention. Card game. This guy. And there we go. Potatoid Prisoner gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't want to be anywhere near whatever passes for a mind in that creature. And that's it. Well, one new line. That was pretty cool. Okay. See you later, Phenom. Phenom. Whatever. And now... I, I guess we're going here anyway. No, wait. We're going to the mall. No, wait. Yeah, we're going to the mall. No, wait. We're going to the, the garden first. Because I wanted to check the mind parasite. What it says now. Now that it doesn't have control over me. Hey, why can't I control you anymore? What did that disgusting collection of brainwaves do? By the way, I have not still edited the episode last time yet, so I still don't know what lines she said, so still a mystery until I edit that episode. Ah, I'm trying to mind control Mr. Flexlord over here, but his brain is way too brawny. What's wrong with this stupid ship? Hey, why can't I control you anymore? That's it. Okay, well, screw you, mind parasites. I'm free. Free as a bird. And now we will buy some boosters, because I have 327 coins. Holy crap. And hold on, before we do that, let me check. I have, no, not here, this one, collection. So I guess we'll just work our way up, right? Is that, or is it better to work our way down? Because these are more expensive. So maybe I want to buy more fancy packs and then work down. Or do I? I almost feel like it's better to try and get all the, hmm, but then again, we might get fluffy boosters from people. It's probably better to do fancy first, right? And just work our way down, at least until I have all the rares and commons. Maybe once I have those, I'll leave it and then go to this one and then we'll worry about legendaries later on. I also do want the, I think it's sweet pack legendary for a business casual man. Yeah, let's get a couple of fancy boosters to begin with. Yeah, so no new cards. That's a bit of a problem. But maybe one of these can be hacked or something. I'm not too sure. But... Guess I might load if I end up taking just way too much gold without getting anything. Yeah, again, nothing. Oh my god, please. Oh, two. Val... Val Enberg. Which is a, a pun, because Val means whale. And I'm pretty sure Valienberg is like a name for something. I'm not sure if that's a reference to something, but it's a Swedish name, at least. Placement. Take an opponent active card twice. That is incredibly good. Wow, that is so good. Against like... Yeah, against fucking card player. This is the card you want, like three of these, just put them in. And then whenever she plays all those annoying like skull cards where if you play a card, it'll do piercing damage and then resolve and do like crazy stuff, give you a shield or whatever it was it did, or it might have even been something better. I can just tick the cards. That would be incredibly good. And the arrows are pretty decent too. So yeah. That's, I should note that down for rematch with card player. I'm gonna try to adjust my deck or maybe make an entirely new deck and put something like this in. Pull in some donuts, pull in some wheelies. Yep. And Faye. I've read this. Yeah, active and tipsy card is played. This one is really good. I kind of uh, want to try this, the whole tipsy healing deck. Whoa, what happens if you do... If you have two Fey cards out at the same time and they're both active and you play a Tipsy card, is it just like... I assume it just works in order. So you place a Tipsy card and then the top leftmost Fey card is the one that activates first and removes the Tipsy card and then the second one doesn't do anything. I would imagine, because otherwise that would be incredible if you do two of these 
and then you play a tipsy card and you heal four for a single tipsy card, but probably not. Okay. I guess maybe I shouldn't bother too much about, like, loading, because if I do get a ton of duplicates, we can trade with other people for, like, cards that they have, and when I'm done with that, I can just recycle them for gold, even though you don't get too much. It might be enough to get, like, a booster or two again. I don't know. Oh, man. This is bad. One new Tipsy Toss. And yeah, that's also good for the tipsy focus deck. And one more of these! Nice! Yeah, I actually wanted that. So... Huh, maybe I should like, save this now, but eh. Let's check how many I have. I'm just gonna stick with whatever I have. So, there's one more common, two more rares, and then a ton of legendaries. Wow, that sounds... almost a little bit grindy, if you have to get, like, if it's such a small chance of getting a legendary, and there's 12 of them in one booster, and it's the most expensive one. That's gonna take forever to farm up. But, I guess that's the thing you have to do. Unless there's like a trick to it, I'm not sure. But I think I'm gonna stop buying fancy boosters now. Oh, I didn't even check how many do I need in the other two. Two here, and a bunch of rares, and a couple legendaries. So yeah. And here, just one, one, one. So this one is... Very hard to, uh, get what I need from. Yeah, let's buy a bunch of sweet boosters now. Okay, Portal World, nice! Yeah, I, I got that once and then I think I loaded or something, so I never had it. Or, I can't remember, but Portal World is really, really good. Especially one that's like, has a strong placement effect. And you can say Metonym, even though Metonym can be used against you if it gets activated the same turn, but you can like place Metonym and then place Portal World and return Metonym and then place Metonym again and stuff like that. That seems pretty strong. And it's a legendary, so nice. Just need like two more, right? Or something from this. And Alf! That's a new card, haven't seen that. I never joke about Psycard. Placement, peek at your opponent's top three cards or deck cards and heal one. Eh, pretty mediocre. I mean, I just don't... Even against human opponents, I just don't really see the point of looking at, like, top cards or anything, because they know you've done it, so they can just play around it. Like, I don't know. And you'll only see, at best, like, half of their hand, so there's still gonna be stuff that you don't know, and then after one turn, then you know even less, because they have another new card, and so on, but I'm sure you could do really good stuff with it, but I'm not too keen on that playstyle. Another potato, already had two, so that doesn't really matter. Aha! Space Nerd! Another Alpha as well. Yeah, as long as I just get more duplicates of things that I don't have maxed out, that would be nice. Alpha Strike! Remove all cards except one chosen at random. Yeah, that's not bad either. Maybe again for card player, because like, if I just focus on really quick combos and card player plays a ton of those, like, I'm gonna fuck you up over the course of like tons of ticks and placing those heads of uh, Hype Snake to delay all cards, then you just play Alpha Strike, though then you have to wait two turns, so I guess that doesn't really work very well against her type of deck, but still, I can see some uses from that, or for that, possibly. And Eden! That's her! It's it's Phenom, or whatever. When you play a Eden card. Yeah, so you want multiple, but that's weird, because you can only have two of them. When I played against someone that used this card, did they use two, or did they use three? I guess they played two, but... I guess you can do Portal World or something, so you like, play this, play another one, play Portal World to link them up, I guess, and power them, so you have something powered, and then you play the Eden again that you just took up, so you can silence two cards and stuff. Might be kind of okay. Then again, you don't even need to power it for the effect to happen. Hmm. 
Yeah, there are so many cards that I can see the use of. I can definitely see like, oh man, that would be really good in a very specific situation. But it's kind of hard to plan around that and build a deck for those specific situations when they might not ever happen. Another slug. Not sure if I could, like, hack that or anything. Card player! Holy shit! It's the card! Did I... Have I seen this before? Switch the color of an opponent card and switch the color of one, one of your cards. See, I've seen this. Yeah? I'm pretty sure I've seen this, and... It's a pretty good card. Once again, probably good against card player. Because if you can just get it to tick down quick enough, then you can, like... Switch one of your trash cards, like a placed Jenny Fox or something like that, or a placed roll card, and then you just take one of her insane cards. Nothing. And I'm gonna do one more... No, then I can't buy seven boosters for the fluffy one. So I'm just gonna buy fluffy boosters now. And see if I can get that one. Yeah, there we go. That's the, the common I needed. Now there was one more rare. Oh man, all of my hard-earned cash. All down the drain. There's Candy Snake. Ah, damn. A legendary, but it wasn't the one I wanted. Okay, I should probably stop now because I think hacking costs some uh, credits. So I should make sure I don't use up all of them. So let's see if I can hack anything. Yeah, this one... Sure, let's do that. Because I I have two... I'm sure I, I should keep one, but let's do it. Opponent gain shield. Yeah, so... Use this when your opponent is in danger! I didn't even read that. Because, yeah, I'm sure there are some situations where if your opponent has a shield, something happens. Jenny Bird, we can hack. Jenny Bird X, when you play a bird arrow card, transform it into bird and activate it. Huh. You stand in a small clearing. There's a Jenny to the north. She looks your way and performs the a taunting dance. You are jealous of her bird. It's very true. So... When you play a bird card, transform it into bird arrow. So you're just like... Why would you want to do that, though? That's very strange. But I'm gonna hack another one. So you can have, like, one of these each on the board, and then you, you play a bird arrow and you get a bird card, and you play a bird card and you get a bird arrow. It's very strange. But yeah, now I have all of those done, so I never need to touch Jenny Bird again for hacking. Jenny Bunny... I think I'll hack one of these again, even though this is a very good card. It's actually a very good card. I might not want to hack this, because I might want two of those. Even though I think the X version was also really good. Ah, fuck it, let's do one. Jenny Bunny X, when your opponent plays a card, switch the color of it and silence this, this card. Yeah, so that's actually even more insane. Because it's... Yeah, it's, you don't even need to activate it. Holy crap, yeah. You just place it down, and then the next card they play is yours. That's crazy. Yeah, definitely something I would want to do against fucking card player. So, I'll keep that in mind. Parrot? Sure, let's, let's do one. Parrot X. It's a rare card now. When your opponent plays a card, transform this card into a copy of that card. Also something that's really good against card player. I might want to do that, like a mimicking or silencing, like instant silence, instant takeover, instant caging type deck, just to stop like everything she has. Might be kind of cool. Sidecard players about... what? Huh? Sidecard players about as smart as birds, new cool science report shows. I, I guess is what they mean. And... Do I need another Mecha Santa? Or key? I don't know if I have two of these or... Or less. Space nerd, I need more of. I can make another one of those. Yeah, the rest I kind of just have to... 
Oh, and that was the last credit I had. Holy crap. Perfectly calculated. Yeah, we're gonna leave it there then. And, huh. I guess for the last bit, we'll go back and maybe fight Albert and stuff. And then before next time, I might go and do some heavy grinding if I have time or if I remember. I don't even know. We'll see. But I feel like I kind of want to do that and just get a bunch of boosters and try and fill out the card stuff that I have as best as possible. Because now I have 100% there. Holy crap. And just one more legendary and then one hacked card. Huh. Okay, that's not too bad. But that's like, that's only having one of them. And many of them you would want to have more than one of. So it's a bit hard to like fill out your entire card cartography or whatever so yeah let's fight out wait let's trade I guess yeah I should just trade like everything because all of this is just cards that I have like surplus of right I'm pretty sure so especially when there's cards that I have even more of and cards that I couldn't hack there's no reason to like keep them around so Let's get, like, one of these. And Bob ship. Holy shit. Holy ship. Two of those. And bunch of Fasen. So many Fasen. Holy crap. Golden Empathetic Frogs. Wow, I have so many, like, duplicates that I will never use. Let's just make sure I can get, like, all of them. Because let's, yeah, let's just trade out all the cards possible. I don't even need to trade this many cards. So let's get some back. And then one of those and we'll get just a, well, let's get dynamite. So there we go. Thank you, Albert. So now, okay, I was hoping that maybe once you were done, they would say like, I have no more cards to trade or something like that, but nope. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's do one battle. Oh. I thought he was a gatekeeper. Was he not the gatekeeper? The F tier gatekeeper? Or is this just like, is that the thing? Just the gatekeepers d just want to play you for credits, not for anything special. I don't know, but let's, let's do it, I suppose. Hi, Albert. It's just a normal best of one. So yeah. Damn it, yeah. I kind of shouldn't have played boss trio right away. Bit of a bad play. And this is a bit of a bad chain. Sure. I'll steal that. Yeah, I would have to have, like, Anti-Murray in order to use Boss Trio, which maybe I should try and set up for. Well, I can't really set up for it right now. Ah, uh, yeah, let's just do that. It's not great, but it'll be fine. Oh, actually... That's the thing I could do. Sure. Let's do Mr. X and just silence boss trio. God fucking damn it, bun boy. You fucking idiot. For fuck's sake, every time. Oh, man. Well, guess I wouldn't have been even anyway. Yeah, there's a plasma hydra. And there we go. Hooray! Six whole credits! Beep, beep, beep! I'll get you next time! Yeah, so I guess maybe he wasn't the gatekeeper, or maybe it's just that you do just get credits. So, I guess after you went here, you went to the mall, right? And then you fought this guy, I think? Yeah, 
Okay, let's fight him. How about a rematch? I'll even give you 20 credits if you win. That's more like it. Sure. Alright, my deck's pretty good this time, so watch out or whatever. I kind of have to re-watch, like, go back and check who were the gatekeepers. I can't remember. Oh my god, potatoes. Mecha Santa. I will steal this, or should I? No, I should wait for him to activate the combo and then steal it. But then I won't have any card to steal, or any spot to steal. Hmm. Eh, let's just focus on... This is not even a good... I can't chain anything here. No, fuck it, let's do Alexander. Probably not a great idea, but... Eh. It's probably fine. Hmm. Yeah, this is not great. I need higher tick cards. Let's do that for now. Might have wanted to save Jenny Fox. Yeah, I'll do that. Damn it, Bun Boy! You are not making a good case for yourself lately. I am tempted to end you, Bun Boy. I guess I'll do that. I don't mind that Jenny Fox gets removed. Okay, that's when you play a Goddess of Explosions card, not... So if I do it, it doesn't matter. But I don't really want to. I just want to play It'll Do. Oh boy. And... I can just place this, right, and win? Think so. Holy crap. That was pretty close, actually. Definitely made some mistakes there. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll just start with Brutus. Yeah, okay. Hey, Bon Boy! You redeemed yourself! I won't kill you now. At least for now. Sure, I suppose. I'll do that. Yeah, that's fine, I suppose. Yeah, I can't just let Brutus take down, so... Let's do that and play Alexander. There we go, rip your shield, and... Guess I wanna do, like, that? I mean, it doesn't really matter, but sure. Oh, right, damn it, that was kinda stupid. I wanted to bubble so I could anti-Murray, but no, I can't do that, not like that. Yeah, that was a waste. 
But I guess we're fine anyway. I mean, this is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage, but it doesn't matter. You were better. Bun guy, what was his name again? Layabout? You were definitely better, but not good enough. Yeah, congratulations and such. Maybe you should battle someone else if you want more of a challenge. I just wanted your money, layabout. Aha, so you just get more credits. Fine by me, it's not like I have this grudge against you or anything. Oh, I guess I should have checked that. Hold on, let's go back and check uh, Albert. Because I thought he was a gatekeeper, like F tier. So that. And then, no. Whatever. I guess not. Maybe he wasn't. I'm not sure. But I think I'll leave it there for today. And next time, I'll have looked at the list of gatekeepers. And I guess I don't really need to farm too much. I can wait with it a little bit, because if we're fighting all the, the gatekeepers again, then I'm going to get a ton of credits anyway. So I can wait with the farming and then buy all the boosters from the credits earned by the gatekeepers. And then if I still need it, then I'll go farm. I know, I'm just procrastinating. I really don't want to farm for hours, but we'll see if I need to. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!